What's going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Yeah. So I have three different hair routines. Today's video is gonna be part one of a three part series of those hair routines. And I'm gonna start with how I style my hair in the morning from scratch, which I don't always do because there's some days where I have to be to work at nine o'clock and I need my hair to be dry when I get there. The other two videos are gonna be my overnight routine and my refreshing routine. And those videos hopefully will be shorter because it takes a lot less work, like a fraction of the work um, and it won't need a big intro. I can get away with using relatively inexpensive products as long as there's not silicone in it and that I use shampoo without sulfate and then I shampoo my hair infrequently. That's what works for me. So I bought these products. This is the Tresemme Micellar Moisture. I think that's how you pronounce that, oh my God. It's zero silicone, zero sulfate, so it passes the, the Suzy test. PETA approved. It was about $11 a bottle. I feel like hair products in Canada anyway have doubled in price. I liked this enough. I like this enough to use it until the bottles are empty and not waste it, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. The only thing that you absolutely need, in my opinion, to have your hair look similar to the way my hair turns out and have volume at the roots, which is really tough, especially when you have long hair, is you need some claw clips. This is the shape that I like. My stepmother, who also has like very thick curly hair with a lot of volume, she tends to use a larger clip, but the difference between her and I is that I often leave my house with the clips in my hair, and so I want them to be, the clips themselves to be flat enough to my head that it doesn't look like I have these big claw clip sticking out, but it depends on what you're doing while your hair is drying and how much you care. Typically, I know the day before how I'm gonna style my hair the next day based on what I did that day, how dirty it is, and how much time I have in the morning. We're gonna talk today about like Monday to Friday. So um, it's a day that I probably don't have to get to work until around nine o'clock. And I don't mind if my hair is a little bit damp and then dries throughout the day. So this is like my you know, two days a week, I probably do this. And this is a day that I'm gonna shower in the morning. Maybe I got up super early and I exercised in the morning and I'm sweaty and I need a shower. And maybe it's just a day that I need a shower in the morning that I don't have to work until nine and I have time to actually get in the shower and fully wet my hair. But anyways, so let's say I kind of knew the night before I was gonna have a typical day where I could get in the shower and wet my hair in the morning um, and go to work with uh, kind of damp hair and let it half air dry. I am going to show you how to, you diffuse it if you hate the idea of going to work with damp hair. I'm going to brush my hair. How often do I brush my hair? Mm, maybe once every two months. And then I decide, am I going to use a sulfate-free shampoo or am I going to use um, conditioner to wash my hair? I used to refer to this as co-washing, but I also want you to think of this as like just wetting and restyling your hair, re-detangling your hair. You are using the mechanical motion of your fingertips to kind of cleanse your scalp and remove any dead skin cells. But really the purpose is to fully wet, saturate, re-detangle and restyle my hair. You don't need to wash your hair with shampoo every day. And I only wash my hair with shampoo maybe twice a month now. And my hair feels totally clean. It looks great. I don't have any buildup, but the reason for that is because I don't use products with silicone in them. So I get in the shower um, and I wet my hair with warm water. I use roughly this much conditioner, like a palmful. See, look, that much, it's a ton. And I'm gonna put it, if I was in the shower, the water would be running. This towel's gonna drive me crazy. I don't care if my shirt gets soaked. Put on my roots first. And then I take the rest of it and I put it throughout my hair. This conditioner doesn't have a ton of slip and my hair is not wet enough. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit more, sorry. Probably only like that much more. I'm gonna put it underneath my hair. And then I kind of let a little bit of water run through my hair and I'm gonna use my fingers to detangle my hair. Now, because I brush my hair, before I got in the shower, this is not too bad. But I will tell you, now that my hair is long, even if I wear my hair in the pineapple, even if I use like a silk or satin pillowcase, this underneath part of my hair gets so knotted that it breaks when it's wet. I'm just finger detangling my hair. 
okay? Then I'm gonna actually get under the water and I'm gonna like just scrub my scalp with my fingertips. And because there's no silicones in my hair, there's nothing that's not water soluble in any of my products, this is enough to clean my hair, the water, the mechanical motion of my fingertips, the conditioner for slip. I just wanna make sure that I rinse the conditioner for my scalp really well. Now the rinsing step is probably the second most important part of my hair routine. And this is for you watching this video that have like the wavy to curly hair, like I have. Definitely curly, like I definitely have spirals, but it's more of like a loose curl or a wave pattern. If you have tighter curls, a lot of people like to rake their fingers through their hair and break up the curls, not me. My hair looks the best when I make curl clumps and those clumps start in the shower. I rinse my hair, we're still pretending I'm in the shower, all right? So I'm still in the shower, I'm gonna turn the water off. Uh, I do have a towel under me if you're wondering that, like why I'm just like soaking this wooden chair. There's like a huge towel here that goes onto the floor. But anyway, I'm still in the shower, turn the water off, my hair is dripping. Again, this is one of the most important parts. Like to have your hair soaking wet when you're applying your products is one of the keys to having that really moisturized looking hair. It does come with a cost because a lot of your products are gonna just mix in with the water and like go down the drain. You end up using more products. So if you're somebody who's really trying not to be wasteful, I'm talking to you through my hair, you can squeeze some of the water out of your hair. You want it to be soaked, but you know, if you wanna be very right practical and uh, cut down on waste, then please feel free to squeeze out some of the water, but it has to be wet. Products, I either use just gel, or if my hair doesn't feel that moisturized, and like with this conditioner, I just don't find this conditioner quite moisturizing enough. You can use a leave-in. You can use any leave-in conditioner. I really like this one. It stinks. Just smells almost like nuts and Play-Doh or something. I don't know. It's got a weird smell. I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of like it. Like you guys can tell that these are the products that I actually use every day because there's like gross hair all over the container and there's only this much left. So if I was gonna use leave-in, again, you don't have to if your ha hair feels moisturized or if your conditioner is really thick, that's too much. Like, like that much on my fingertips. If your moisturizer is sore, your conditioner is really thick, you probably don't need it. Anyway, I take this conditioner and I don't break up the clumps. My clumps don't look as good in this video as they normally do, and I just kind of smooth it over them. I'm not really breaking them up. I'm not really using the praying hands technique. I'm just kind of evenly distributing that. Um, I have to remember to put product in the back of my hair because I always forget that, and then this part of my hair in the back is like dry and frizzy. So I'm gonna put a little bit in the back. Now before I squeeze that, into my hair and mix it with the water, I'm gonna also put my gel in. And guys, this sounds like a lot of work because I'm talking so much, but it's really a very quick, instinctive thing once you get into it. You're like, oh, my hair was a little dry, my conditioner kinda sucks, I'm gonna use leave-in conditioner. Or you're like, my conditioner feels really thick and creamy and has a lot of slip and my hair wasn't dry, I'm not gonna use it. Like, basically that's all it is. So here is my gel. I've been using this for, man, seven years, six, seven years. This is the BioTerra um, Defining Alcohol-Free Gel. Alcohol-free. It's got to be alcohol-free. There's a lot of gels, a lot of inexpensive gels. The reason I like this gel, there's an expensive one too. Giovanni makes it, I think. There's a few gels that I like very specifically because the next day, your hair doesn't feel like your curls are crushed and it's unruly looking. When I wake up the next day, even after having a ton of this gel in my hair, my hair feels soft and it's easy to refresh. So that's why I keep coming back to this gel. I've also used like Dippity Doo and like the LA Looks Cheapy Gels and the Eco Gel and all of that and it all works great the day of, but I just find these ones have a bit more longevity. So I use a lot of gel. Oh my God, my hands look gross. I have like hair all over my hand. But like, so I use this much gel probably three times. But I have a lot of hair and there's a lot of water in my hair. Um, so it's gonna get diluted. So praying hands technique in the front. I'm not squeezing too hard when I go down my hair because I wanna leave some of the gel in my hands. Then I kinda do the sides. 
And then I'm going to use maybe a little bit less than the first time. This side. I didn't expect to do this video bent over a chair. Um, but I think the most important part is that you can replicate what I'm doing. And again, pretending that I'm in the shower. Okay, and then I still have quite a bit of gel on my hands. And I'm just going to put that here. Now, okay, I'll sit. I'll sit for this. My sweatshirt's going to get soaked. Now I'm going to squeeze the water and the products into my hair and mix the products. And I'm just going to like squeeze it up. Can you hear that? And I'm like squeezing. Squeezing. And again, my clumps aren't as good because I wash my hair in the sink. And then I'm going to plop my hair for a few minutes um, and get dressed and I'll be right back. I'd say less than 10 minutes has passed since I was on camera last. I got up and I wrapped my hair in a t-shirt or I plopped my hair. I'm not going to show that on camera today, but I have a video that's like a minute and 20 seconds long maybe that I will leave uh, in the description box below. And there's probably, I don't know, a hundred videos on hair plopping on YouTube, but basically it's just the act of taking your wet hair and kind of plopping it onto a t-shirt or a microfiber towel in a way that kind of keeps your curls in like a coiled position uh, and some of the water gets absorbed from your hair without disturbing your hair too much. The longer it's plopped, the more water gets absorbed from your hair. So if you like put on a full face of makeup or you take a longer time to get ready, your hair will be a little bit more dry um, when you take the shirt off. I use like one of my husband's t-shirts. I didn't have a funny one today. I think this one says like beard season on it or something. But you take your hair out of the plop um, and then you can use dry parts of the shirt or the microfiber fiber towel. I can't talk microfiber towel or shirt to kind of squeeze excess water out of your hair. I style my hair with gel, just gel. Sometimes I use a little bit of a leave-in conditioner. But on days that I'm making a YouTube video or that I really want my hair to look nice at work or I feel like the weather's kind of iffy and it's a little bit like windy out and I just want a little bit more frizz control. I'm going somewhere where I want my hair to look a little more defined which again isn't every day, but some days, I also use a little bit of mousse before I put the clips in. And I use mousse to refresh my hair as well. This is the mousse I like right now. Herbal Essences Curl Boosting Mousse. You just need an alcohol-free mousse. Any old alcohol-free mousse. This is the one I'm gonna use today. And I apply it the exact same way I apply everything. I use the praying hands technique and I apply, apply it kind of in three sections and then to the back of my head. I'm gonna do that right quick. Then I scrunch it so it's just a little bit more frizz control on the top, totally optional, depends on how much definition you want. And then I apply the clips. If I didn't care what it looked like while it was drying, I would do what my stepmom does most of the time, which is she really just piles it high on her head with bigger clips. And it looks totally fine to me, but just maybe not something that you want to wear to work. So I just kind of put my hair in a half up and half down hairstyle. I'm taking hair from the side up into the middle on this side and then like again like lifting at the roots taking hair from the side up into the middle on this side. The more water you squeeze out of your hair before you do this um, the less time you have to leave it like this and then I'm going to take hair from the side up to the middle see like I'm lifting up the roots like this. It's tougher to do on camera than it is to do in the mirror but Bear with me, and then I'm lifting, trying not to rake my fingers through my hair or disturb it too much. I'm gonna clip it up like that, and then I'm gonna just kind of pull this down. Oh man, it's pretty wet today. I, I feel like normally maybe it's plopped for longer than I thought, because I'm getting my kids ready for school and packing lunches and doing all that with my hair plopped. Um, so it's gonna take uh, quite a bit longer to dry today. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get off camera now and I'm going to skip ahead like about two hours. So right now I'd be just getting ready to go to work. I would get there. My hair would be damp. I work in an office. Nobody cares that my hair is damp. If I really wanted my hair to be a little more dry before I went to work, 
and I was gonna wear my hair just like this, then for like five minutes, I would quickly diffuse my hair on not the hottest setting and not the cold setting, somewhere in the middle, like a warm setting, and I diffuse it basically like this. I do the roots first and then the bottom. <laughs> I can't really tell looking in the viewfinder how dry it looks on camera. And this is what my hair looks like a lot at work in the mornings. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna take out the clips um, and show you what my hair looks like all down when it's damp. And then I will diffuse it um, and show you what it looks like diffused. <laughs> So this is what my hair looks like when it's all the way dry. The top part of my hair is not as tightly curly as the bottom part. Part of the reason for that is that I do have it stretched back in the clips a little bit, but I have lots of volume. I probably have a little bit less volume when I let my hair air dry all the way, but it looks very, very similar. And I tend to really like my hair looking like this and looking less Producty than it used to look when I used to make videos a few years ago. If you work in a job where you like to have your hair off your face, one thing that I do like to do is take a claw clip, the same clip I used when I was letting my hair air dry, and I will just clip one side of my hair back and wear all of my hair over to one side. It just looks a little bit more put together, or you can wear your hair half up and half down or all the way up like I showed in the video, but you at least have this base of this really healthy looking, shiny, fluffy, curly hair that you didn't use a whole lot of heat to style. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you can give it a big old thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And I will see you very soon in one of my next two videos coming up, one where I show me refreshing my hair instead of washing it, and one where I show my styling routine when I choose to wash my hair uh, the day before because I wanna have dry hair early in the morning, as early as possible. Anyway, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.